hello hello guys welcome back to my page my name is Bloom Kokobuza and I am an investment analyst and I also run a small business by myself so again part of my job is really to assess small business applications and um, I recommend them for funding uh, or not and I report it to quite a number of levels within my department so you're not in any way that I make any type of decisions right um, so I do have uh, eight years of experience in the industry and I am naturally just passionate about small business development so today I just need to share with you something um, there are the three business competitions or potential grants that you can apply for right now which could um, empower your business in a more um, positive way and that you don't have to pay um, anything back so I'm gonna go straight to them I'm gonna leave a link of, of, of the description or where you need to apply for these um, applications they are today is the 16th of August so they're still available um, until 31st of but and uh, until uh, around end of September but let me get to them the first one which is very easy to, to sort of apply for and get is called Showbright hustle competition so showbread hustle competition they are looking for small businesses that are six months and older they have a, their own bank account and um, what their requirements is that you just need to prove that you have been operating for six months you will give them three photos of your business and um, and and yourself within your business or doing something in your business and you know 18 years or 18 years or older and you probably you um, they prioritize in South Africans or permanent residents um, and so this competition is has quite a lot of benefits um, there is um, about 50,000 of cash deposit as a boost um, there is 17,000 cash uh, startup ignition that means if you are just starting up maybe you don't have systems you don't have lots of things in in place they will assess what your business needs and then they will help you sort of accelerate that startup um, maybe working capital and all of those things and then there is um eight thousand worth of a dell laptop that is there to be won and five hundred thousand worth of marketing so this um is a very easy competition and that any business any category any industry can apply for they don't want any audited numbers they don't want it's it's like an easy an easy thing you just need to prove that you do have a business um so um just check it out there it's a very um great opportunity for an a small business to get into the second one is called um uh, standard bank business awards which this one ends on the 31st of august but anyway, the one for um, Straw Bright Hustle competition ends on the 27th of September. So you still have time. Now it's just in August. I mean, there's, there's still a lot of time. Just check into it. Um, I personally applied for it, but it, it's just really like, really, really like 15 minutes that you spend on an application. But anyway, um, Standard Bank Business Awards competition, you... Um, nominate yourself or you nominate somebody else's business and um you 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 sort of answer basic questions about this business and you know they, they all, all of these competitions they want you to have a, a real bank account that is being registered on behalf of your business and they ask you just few questions a few questionnaires there uh, is really not um complicated also there is up to um one million to be from two hundred thousand to one million that to be won. So people that are really in the in the transportation sector, maybe you know they just want to improve their trucks. This is a great opportunity for for you guys and anybody else that has. But this one wants you to be operating in uh, I think twelve months and older. So I'm sure then your bank statement will reflect that. So or your um, management account will reflect that. So just um for this one just look at the requirements first and then decide if this will be a great opportunity for you or not and um i will also leave a link or a description of this application down on the 
on the link on, on the comment section, right? So the last one, um, which I think is very important and that people take it lightly is called bl Black Umbrellas um, in Incubation Program. So the, this one is important because the funders of this program uh, are quite um, established businessmen or business organizations and so if you get into this program then when you get out of it it you won't be the same business um you will learn quite a lot of things and just the great thing about the black umbrella incubation is open currently right now they didn't specify on the on the website when is it closing um but um it is partnered with the Sierra ramaphosa foundation and the benefits are all what they're trying to accomplish by training all of those small businesses out there is, is, is what is interesting the most for me. Um, because if you are a small business, maybe you just don't even know how to do anything or how to draft or how to make your business as formal. So this incubation program is, is good for you because then after this, then you can, you know, escalate to other uh, potential competitions that you can enter into. So what I also noticed, so that's, that's the last one. Those are the three ones that I wanted to share with you but what I noticed is that um, a lot of a lot of, of, of small business owners they um, they just assume that you know you just supposed to have a business idea and you get somehow um, the investment and then that's it there is a quite you know it is quite a tedious work guys that's why they say that only one in, in, in hundred thousand of people are gonna be interested to run a business because first of all it's not easy and second of all not everybody will always understand your idea or your passion or your reason why you wanted to to operate this business and people will, will often discourage you even family members will often say that this is not gonna work um, even the funders will often decline you because most of the funders they want the businesses that are almost posh so when you're starting up you need to pull your sex very hard if maybe this is your business try to make it as a side hustle first and then when you see that it's getting momentum then you can you can um you know put it as full time or if you put it full time put in all the effort do everything without expecting to be paid i know that you need to pay bills and all of those things but try other things on the side just to keep the cash flow um coming because even nyta the grant it's not easy to get it because running or starting a small business it's so much harder it's so much harder than you know being four or five years within the business world but the first the first years is it's not as easy so this is also just to encourage you um keep on looking out for competitions grants even if it's one thousand that you're gonna get out of that competition it's gonna be a great um input or, or, or benefit within your business and it, only yourself has a vision for your business until people learn the vision you're gonna be a solo journey until even your spouse for example won't understand the vision when you start um they will understand the idea but not the vision behind the idea because everybody's starting the business to do what to make money so try to uh, search for these competitions as much as you can and keep motivate keep motivating yourself and um we here right now it has not been easy for us but at least for us it, it, it's quite a path but if you are starting out right now just don't give up okay anyway please subscribe and thank you for everybody that subscribed um and uh, have a great day